Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This beginner workout, we're gonna do it all down on the mat. All right, this will be great if you have some sort of leg injury and you don't wanna stand, maybe your foot is sore, maybe you just wanna do a whole workout down on the mat. Well, this is the workout for you. Grab a variety of dumbbells today and the format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. We're gonna repeat everything for three rounds to get a little progressive overload on those muscles. I'm gonna to start you with a standing warm up, but if you need to, again, be on the ground, you can follow with the arm movements if you'd like. All right, I'm ready to move daily. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna click just strength on my watch today. Let's just start with a single arm circle right here. We'll get things warmed up, ready to go. Switch directions. And switch your side. Switch directions. Let's put our arms out to the side. Reach behind your head, out behind your back. All right, just alternating behind the head and behind the back, warming that rotator cuff up. One more here. All right, now we're starting here, one behind the head, one behind the back, but alternating just like this. I feel that rotator cuff warming up, do you? Good, four more right here. And three, two, and one. Whoo, good burn. Let's go to feet shoulder width apart. Nice little squat reach right here. If you can't squat, just give me the arm reach. Last one here, and some front and back bends. Knees are soft. Hinge at the waist, and a gentle push forward. One more here. That's it, and into some hip openers. Just up and around, alternating legs. And now I'm gonna go the opposite direction, come from the back and forward. Last one here. Let's take it wide. Knees are soft. And alternate hand to toe touch here. Walk your feet together a little bit. Stay hinged at the waist. One arm down and reach and stretch in that pec. Switch your side and reach. And switch and reach. And switch. Last one here. And roll yourself up. Some shoulder circles right here. Rolling backwards. And roll front, big circles up near your ears. All right, let's tap this out right here. And up and over. Down. 
Very good. All right. All right, grab your dumbbells, take them down to the mat. I'm also gonna use a mini band, okay? Uh, if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just do it without. But uh, there's your list. Get down on the ground. We're gonna start with some legs down here. All right, so we're gonna go into a glute march. I want you to lie on your back. Feet are close uh, to your bottom, just this round. And we're gonna press the heel up to the ceiling, alternating sides. So push it here and switch. Good. So eventually we're gonna walk this out quite a bit so that we're targeting more hamstrings. Right now you can keep your feet close to your bottom and feel your glute squeeze each time you press up. glute abduction. Now if you do have a band and you want to use it, you can slip a light band above the knees. Otherwise, hips are up into bridge. We're opening and closing those legs. Feet are close. So you open and close just like that. Keep your butt off the ground in that glute bridge position. Holding that elevated glute bridge is activating those muscles. Even if you didn't do the mini band, you'll be feeling this. Okay, I'm slipping that band off. We're gonna do some seated leg lifts. So sitting nice and tall. One leg is bent, one leg is straight. I'll fall halfway and we'll switch. We're just lifting that leg here. So lift it up, good, and up. Some nice work on the quad and hip flexor here, of course. Try to sit tall. Three, two, one, switch legs and lift. with that hamstring march and try to see if you can move your feet a little further away from your bottom this time. Drive through the heel, alternating sides. You're up and up. again if you have it and on your back for that glute abduction feet are close to the bottom up into bridge and open and close right here Tension in a home gym. All right, I'm gonna call half on the leg, 
nice and tall and lift and lift straight leg here three two one and switch March. Now, feet as far away from your bottom as you can. You can have them close if it's too challenging, but this is a good way to challenge those hamstrings. Lift it here. Alternate. You can lighten to threes or fives if you need. Here we go. So you press it up, bend at the elbow back, ceiling and down. You're up, back, ceiling and down. Very 
Very good. We'll give the arms a rest for a second and move into a bicycle. I'm gonna do a modified bicycle. Alternating elbow to knee, but you can do a full bicycle here if you'd like. Here we go, and tap, and tap. Try to reach to the outside of that knee. And you're supporting your head with your hands, just gently, not pulling at the neck. Okay, round two. So keep the same weights if you like, or you can go up. I'm gonna go up, just to the tendons here. And again, single, double, chest press over the chest. Start with both of them up. So you single, single, double here. Moving into that tricep press, overhead extension. You can lighten if you like. This is a little bit more challenging than the one we just did, so sometimes we need to lighten. For those triceps, palms facing. Let's work up and back, up and down. Chest press, whatever you can do. Challenge yourself on this last round. Let's work and your single. Single double here.
finish off with that ab. All right, swing those arms out a bit. We're gonna take a little water break after this one. Here we go, you'll have 30 seconds in between to grab a drink and join me back. If you don't need the rest, keep this ab exercise going until I start again. exercises if you don't like kneeling. We're going to do a kneeling curl press. I'll call halfway. We'll switch hands, okay? Shoulders back, nice and tall. And we curl and press right there. Keep your elbow nice and close to the body. Last one on this side. Now switch. Curl. Press. Very good. Very good. We're going to go into a kneeling one arm row. So grab a bit of a heavier weight. I'm going to hold a 10. All right, so straight up and down, we're rowing right here. And again, I'll call halfway, we'll switch hands. And up. bobbing of the knees to help propel that weight up. So this could be a bit more of a challenge. Be sure to lift within your ability here. Back to the top. We'll go back to that curl press. Single side. I'm going to go with the 10 here, but you could do 5, 3, 2, whatever you like. And we curl press. That's it. Last one on this side and switch. Challenge yourself here. You could pop right up into plank and do that renegade row, all right? 
or even from one knee. I think I'll do this one knee this time. Let's work row. Last one here, and switch. Great, back to your lateral and front raise. Twos, threes, even fives here. Kneeling or sitting. Let's work. All right, round three, back to your row. Again, I'll call half. Last one here. Switch your side. Curl. All right, switch your side. We'll finish off with that lateral and front raise. Okay. Sitting or kneeling with a nice straight back. Let's work. Three, two, one and done. You move daily in your on the mat workout. We had a little bit of everything, didn't we? That was good. Join me for a stretch on the ground if you can. Nice work, folks. Let's sit up nice and tall, leg is straight. Hinge forward at the waist. Oh, stretching that hamstring there. Good. You know, I've had lots of injuries in my years of training and some of them haven't been necessarily from working out, which they've been from doing other frivolous things like trying to do an aerial off of a deck when I was 45. 
<laughs> and breaking my wrist. Um, and so it happens. You know, we all sort of go through that season where something is injured. But I'm of the mindset that you can almost always do something, right? Upper body's injured, you've got a shoulder ailment, uh, you could come down on the ground and do abs, you could do body weight, lower body, like lunges and squats or step ups or glute thrusts or calf raises. Okay, you know, like it just, there's just almost always something that you can do. Even, you know, I don't necessarily recommend training when you're sick, but sometimes if I just have like a head cold, I like to even just get out for a walk. Of course, if I feel it in my chest, I just completely rest because I don't want to tax the lungs when they're already taxed through illness. But, you know, short of, short of being on my deathbed, I am trying to move daily. I'm trying to do something with my body daily. It makes me feel good. Plus, it can also increase blood flow, which can help with healing in specific areas, like if you have injuries or you know, some other ailment that way. But of course, always listen to your doctor and what the doctor recommends uh, because everything is very specific, right, to the person. But I do like to do things, you know. So when I broke my wrist, I was in the gym three or four days later, as soon as I was off the pain medication uh, and doing what I could do. I had a very smelly cast from all of the exercise. <laughs> I remember driving home from the gym and I would stick it out the window to air it out because it got so sweaty from doing cardio or steps or, you know, again, legs and abs because that part was working. So maybe for you today, you have a lower body injury and you found, you know, just doing this on the floor, on the mat workout was good because you didn't have to stand, you didn't have to bear weight on your foot or your ankle or, you know, whatever else is injured. So almost always there's a way around, there's things that we can do. So. Think of those things for yourself and of course, of course, pay attention again to what the doctor recommends, but within those parameters, do it because it will help the healing process. That blood flow increases circulation, which helps prevent inflammation, disease, and decay. All right, folks, thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.